Alin Punchao. You know, this is a very old greeting. Most of the time people ask you a question. How are you? But uh, that's a question, you know. And uh, in Quechua also we use the same, but only from the colonial period. Imainalia Kashyanki. You see? Or Alin Yachu. Are you okay? But when you do the real greeting, like for example in the Inti Raimi, in the big ceremony, so the, the Inca starts saying, Alin So what does it mean? Of course, the Spanish point of view says, Good day or good morning, brothers and sisters. But one of, the, one of my teachers told me, you know the punchao, it's the father's son's impact. So when I say, alim punchai, when it's that one person, so we are saying, the impact of the light in you is magnificent. This is such a greeting, you know. It is really about remembering each other, the light that we are. It's another way to say is blessings from the light. You see? So, uh, a greeting, like in Spanish, saludar, dar, salud, give health, give good vibrations. So, it's so important in this new cycle to remember our essence more than to remember our histories or what we have to do. If we just remember that light, inside of us, you know? And somebody comes to you and says, that light is magnificent. So you say, well, it's confirmed, you see? <laughs> so it's so, so good, the importance of the greeting. But it's so important also to greet yourself. But how do you greet yourself? You know, most of the time we greet everybody, but we don't greet ourselves. So the way for us is to see that light in our hearts. As much we see it, we see in everybody. You know, it's a human tendency. We see in the others what we see inside of us. You know, we do this practice not necessarily with the light, sometimes with other kind of energies. But if we just remember that as we awake, you know, what's your first, first thought when you awake? Most of the time is what I have to do today, what is today. Or if you do some practices, I, I have to pray or have to do some exercises, whatever. And many people just remember the terrible situations or, you know, any of the issues they are going through. Okay? But if we just remember that light, you know, this is the children of the sun, children of the sun's practice. So this is about to remember that light as, as we are awake, first to remember the light, and then facing is to open our arms, to welcome the light, to surrender to the light of the Father in our hearts. And we just feel all the cells are awakening. And each cell is light, little bubbles of light. We are a, all the body one bubble, that's a popco. The popco is a, the light body, we can say. But if we greet ourselves, we see all that light, we are giving good frequencies, remembering the cells that they are wise. They are love, they are in service, because that's light for us. Light, Ilya, one of the primordial uh, flames or light from our ancestors, even one of the oldest prayers from the Incas that was recorded, starts with Ilya Tixi Wiracochan, Kailia Wiracochan. You see? So, Ilia Tixi, it's like the primordial, the first light that a beginning begin everything. Like the creation of the creation inside what is manifested and keep expanding. So, it's so beautiful. It's a poetry. Okay? So, this is a nice conversation, not that the prayer, but I was just remembering that light. That light is Munai, is love, is Yankai, service, Yachai, is wise. So we are that light. 
and we are wise. So in my mind sometimes doesn't accept that I am wise, you know, but it's okay. <laughs> I believe my heart. <laughs> so we have this amazing endless spring of love in our lives, endless spring of wisdom. So if we love, we are in service. But it has to start with ourselves. You know, sometimes uh, I, I wanna, we have to love the Mother Earth. Yes, okay, yeah, we can try. We do some good actions. But in essence, the most important message, it comes from the Mother. It is to love yourself. As you love yourself, you really can love the Mother Earth, you can love the plants, the animals. It's natural, it's in each of us, it's there. The only thing we have to do, that's the most important contribution, is the most important mission, we can say, more than the contribution, it's a mission, to let go the blockages. What are those blockages? Are the heavy energies that we call huchas, you know? Hucha is any of the energies that doesn't come from love. So in our lives, we experience uh, many, many, many situations, you know, losses, regrets, uh, so many sorrows, guilty feelings, all those energies that started with fear. It's not good, it's unhealthy. We are designed as a light beings, and as a light beings, we cannot carry with us heavy energies, it's poison. That's what gets us sick, that what is what kills us. You know? So if we just return to our essence of children of the sun, as we can say, Inca. You know from where comes the word Inca? Many people come to Peru and many, many people teach about the Incas, but sometimes we don't remember. What does it mean Inca? What is the roots of the word Inca? You know, this is a culture of the light. And as a culture of the light, any, everything has to do with the light because we are children of the light. In the colonial period, we stuck in few practices, which is important, but there is something vital for us, is to be that light for this new cycle, because we are experiencing the new Pachacuti, you know, the new cycle, but we have to go through this world that is upside down. And when it's upside down, we can really bring the order, the cosmic order, you see? So, in this cosmic order, in this ten Pachacuti, it is about the Wilkakuti, the return to sacredness, the return to the light. So that's our mission, to remember each other, to remember the light that we are, to remember the Inca. In comes from Inti, you know? The, the, the body of the Father Son, he embodies love, service, and wisdom from Iliatixi. You know, that's the, the primordial light from the heart of Pachacama and Pachamama. Because Pachamama is the greatest cosmic mother, is the divine mother, okay? So from there, that light comes by the Father Son. And the Father Son touches our inner son. And from our inner son to all the body. So it's our choice to be in that frequency. So the in from in, in, from Indi, Ka, from Kana. It is when the ray touch you and you are a prism, like a quartz crystal, because you come from the heart of the Mother Earth. A filament of light comes to this reality and here you are there as a crystal and this ray touch you and you let flow the luminosity of that light. That's Inca, the state of consciousness of that light. So each of us, we are a ray from the same sun. We, our destiny is to shine. But more to, than to shine is to illuminate our paths in this new cycle. So welcome to the new Pachacuti. With love, without fear. Thank you very much.